I don't understand why you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel. I haven't. See, look, on the spot, look, he's like, what, me? Huh? But what? Huh? What? He doesn't I even subscribe. know what to say. I know you do. I watch all of our videos. I know. But I have to plug the channel. So, yeah. this is the plug. I made my mom subscribe. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I made my mom subscribe, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shane, did Mr. Meowser subscribe? Your feral cat? He's not feral. He's just got the mange. <laughs> he's got the mange. <laughs> mange. A skin disease of mammals caused by parasitic mites and occasionally communicable to humans. It typically causes severe itching, hair loss, and the formation of scabs and lesions. Hello, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss Lady. We just put out a video about this flywheel assembly right here. So we're going to do a little bit of follow up. It's going to go inside this case. Take note of this right here. We're gonna we're gonna touch upon this later. See this? That moat case sealant from the factory. See it's all bulged out inside the motor. We're gonna address that in a couple of minutes. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this case apart, clean it all up, and then we'll be back. Now you can see like all this case sealant that scrolls out from the factory inside the motor. And maybe that'll stay there forever. Maybe this piece will break off at some point and then start running through your oil passages and possibly clog them up. And in twin cams, what would happen is the sealant had the, had the chance of coming out inside the motor and they had different piston jet designs. They were just an O-ring, and it would blow up and block the piston jet. You can tell when, you, when you're when you taking a motor apart, if you flip the pistons over, and they're super black on the inside, and they, get, they begin super hot because the piston jet was blocked and wasn't providing the oil. Also, another good thing to look at is the balancer. This is the assembly that we're taking out by rebalancing the flywheel to not need it anymore. So the balance holes, are to make up for the weight that's not on there because of the balancer and the gear obviously is no longer pressed onto the sprocket shaft. And we'll be back once this is all cleaned up and ready to go. Takes a light touch. Oh, like that. Yeah, all the way around like that. Don't worry, I'll wipe off the excess. So really, all, all you do is just put enough basically so that you can see a film on here. You have minimal seepage. And then when I get done, I'll kind of I'll come back and wipe everything back out of these cracks. Like see a little bit comes on the edge here. I'll wipe I'll wipe all that off so that when I get, get it put together. If a bead at all comes out of the the uh, two halves, it's a super small amount. You guys have found a use for this. Oh. Shake weight. Shake weight. Shake weight. You know, he told me that he has a pet feral cat. I didn't even know, I didn't even know you could have a pet feral cat. It should be. Most of what he does should be illegal. Fact check. Many state and local governments have not directly addressed the issues of ownership and responsibility related to feral cats. In fact, only 13 states and the District of Columbia have any laws that even mention feral cats. Tennessee is not one of them. About now that we have the internet, when I snap my fingers, this is gonna be done. Ready? And like that, we're done. So, as you can see, there's just a little bit around. It doesn't even need to cover, because all it's gonna do is smash these two pieces of metal together, and there's a small bit of film on each piece. So, as the metal pushes together, It'll squeeze this to the edges, and that should seal the case. <laughs> now, we will install this half onto this half. Move my bearings up. And I can get used to this internet thing. This only took like 15 seconds. Five. Now, I will torque this with the sequence in the book to spec, and I'll be right back. All right. 
So, it's done. Look how much less protrusion there is. And that was with barely any showing and there's still, I like a little bit because I like to know that it, it's all the way around and all the way covered, that there's no gaps. Now we'll let this dry for about an hour and then I peel, I pull all this stuff off the, off the outside when I do the motor and clean all of this up in here so that there's no case sealing on the outside of the motor at all and it's totally black. And that will be right now. Thanks to the magic of the internet, I snapped my fingers and the motor was put in the frame. So the next step in the next video will be the cam chest, maybe the top end, I don't know, depends on how much time we have. But there is something else I want to show you. In order to contain the immense power involved, to build like this, we've also installed an AIM lockup clutch plate. And that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for joining another session of the Shock Talk.